CGA TV, where we have inspiring interviews, engaging conversation with next generation influencers, entertainers, and real people. Everyday people, actually. Today, we have the honor of having the one and only publishing powerhouse, Miss Tressa Azarel Smallwood. Hey. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's an honor for Tressa to be here. We're going to be talking about today, you need to get up, get out, and get something because you need to be the boss that you were born to be. So I'm really excited. I want you to connect with Tressa. I want her to give you her information, how you can follow her, and then we're going to dive right into this interview. Oh, cool. Okay, so I'm a serial entrepreneur, so just get ready for this. I, you, can, <laughs> you can contact me in many places. I'm on Instagram at at CEO Azarel, that's A Z A R E L. That's my Instagram, Twitter, and my Periscope. I do scopes often, so make sure you follow me because I, I keep it real and I make sure yeah. I give you exactly what you need to be a boss. Um, I'm also, if you just go to my um, website, it's TressaAzarel.com. You can connect with me there, and from there, we good. Okay. All right. So let's get ready. She's up next. I started out as a school teacher, a traditional career. I had an unlucky break where I had to end up going on bed rest, where I decided to write a book. I wrote that book within a two month period and I never looked back. That one book, I turned into a multi-million dollar publishing company. Doesn't matter whether you're a doctor, lawyer, or corporate executive. Or maybe you just want to write the next great American novel. Your book will get you more exposure, opportunities, and speaking engagements. The sky's the limit. The Best Sellers Project is a four-week online boot camp where we teach you how to publish for profit. What are you waiting for? Write that book that you said you would always write. Let us help you make your lifelong dreams come true. Sign up for The Best Sellers Project today. Hello, everyone. We're back. And me and Tressa just sitting here giggling and, <laughs> and having a good time. But I just wanted to say, Tressa left education to become an entrepreneur. And when she did that, she became a multi-million dollar powerhouse in the publishing industry. And I'm so excited that she's here today. And we're going to dig in and learn a lot today. So you better get your pens out, your paper out, and get ready to take notes and get ready to be the boss that you were born to be. So Tressa... Get us started. We're ready to roll in today's first question is, okay. when did you know it was time? You know, everybody wants to take that 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 leap into entrepreneurship. They want to take that leap into creating the, the well, being their own boss. Yeah. When did you know it was, it was time to unleash the inner boss? You know, for me, I truly feel like everyone, that's including you, I think we all have a little bit of that courage inside of us yeah. and we all want to be entrepreneurs, right? Mm -hmm. So I had it inside of me for a long time, but I was afraid. I was fearful because my family, you don't understand, my grandmother, <laughs> rest in peace. At that time, you know, she was in education. I had a lot of um, aunts who were teachers, and they, they basically said, hey, you know, you're going to get your master's. You should become a teacher. You got summers off. You're going to do this. And in my head, I'm going, okay, you know, I'm listening to them, but I'm like, I, I'm fine with that. I, you know, I love being with children, but I want to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. And so... It took me a long time to really say to myself, I'm going to do this. And there was this one moment when um, I was on bed rest. I was pregnant with my daughter. And the doctor said, I thought it was a death sentence at this time. He said, you're going on bed rest for six months. Right. So I was only three months pregnant. He said, six months. That's right. He repeated it, like <laughs> six months. And I'm thinking, what am I going to do for six months? I had a family member who basically told me, hey, you should write a book. And I was like, then write a book? Well, you know. What are you talking about? And she started saying, you know, you write really well, and I work at this correctional institution and these stories. And so I started listening. I was so interested. I said, I know if I put the, put this info in a book, other people will be interested. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have anything to lose. So it was that combination of time, being in the right place, ha, death sentence, bed rest, <laughs> um, and just having that person plant that seed. Yes. And so with all of that, I penned my first novel. I never went back to work. Oh, wow. I never went back. Uh, and I sold 40,000 copies. Wow. I'm sorry. You know what? Correct that. I made $40,000 okay. in profit <laughs> off of my first book. Wow. So needless to say, it was like I've always wanted it, mm -hmm. but that one vehicle came, you know, it literally just landed in my lap, and I, I did what I needed to do to make it successful. Mm -hmm. 
And so that was it. Wow. I knew I, I knew I was never turning back. Now I'm like ten businesses. I'm like running around, you know. Oh, oh I don't worry, it. I want to. We're going to hear about that. We're going to learn more about that. But yes, I love what you just said about planting the seed. You know, sometimes every, it all falls together. God yeah. puts you in a position where you know you you have to be still. Yeah, yeah. Because He needs us to be still sometimes so we can hear from Him, and then you know that family member planting that seed just yeah. Yeah. catapults you. Need that you. one person to just go, yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, all right. So, I hope you all are taking notes, you know, time and place and, and, and planting that seed, you know, and, and helping that seed grow. You know, you got to just listen sometimes when the universe is talking, when God is talking to you. So, what we would like to know now, now that you unleash that inner boss and it's here and you have several successful businesses, what did you have to do to make it happen for you? What did you have to do to make it a reality? Um, for starters, I got serious. Okay. I said, all right, mm -hmm. if this is going to work, I need to get rid of all the naysayers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when I say naysayers, I mean all those people who say to you, oh, you shouldn't do this right now. It's not the right time. Oh, you have children. Wait for your children to grow up. Oh, you're really going to do that? That costs money. You will take a, what? No, I don't think you should do that right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have benefits. You can't mm -hmm. leave your good job. <laughs> yes. So if you really want to do this, you have to believe in yourself and you have to basically get rid of the naysayers. I mean, literally, literally, like delete them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean delete from your life, but delete from your space. Don't let, don't allow anyone to rent space in your head for free. And it's negative information. We're not doing it. Okay. Another thing too, is you have to get around like-minded people. I only associate with people who think like me. Doesn't mean we have to agree on everything. But when it comes to business and, be, and and it comes to not being fearful of anything and just staying positive, the people I'm, I hang around, we all think alike. It's like, we're going to figure it out. Doesn't mean things are going to be perfect, but we're going to figure it out. And so with that said, once you do that, your mind is right. You can now go into, you can move into implementation, yeah. basically. And when I say implement, it's like, let's take this idea and turn it into something. Okay. First thing you knew is you need to do is build a team. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when I say build a team, it doesn't matter. It does, I'm not saying you have to have a paid accountant on staff. You don't have to have somebody, you know, this high price graphic designer, build a team slowly with what makes sense. Sometimes it's based on the borrowing system. I might say, Hey, you know what? I need you to build my website, but I can teach you how to write a book. Yeah. Okay. So that barter system, right? Mm -hmm. We all love it. You can do that. Um, but as you're building your team, it could be your mom. She might have some special skills. It could be your sister might have some special skills. Mm -hmm. um, build that team and make sure those people are in place because you can't do it alone, okay? And I'll say that again, and this is not being negative. It's real. You know, I run five businesses, and in each and every one of those businesses, I'm not the one doing all the work. There's a team. There's a group of fascinating people mm -hmm. behind the scenes that make it happen for me, okay? So build your team. The next thing you need to do is get a business plan. And I'm going to move in close and just tell you, don't be fearful, okay? <laughs> I don't mean the business plan that you see when you Google it online and you have to submit the, for the loan to, you know, yeah. to the bank. Not that type of business plan, okay? I need something where you take your paper, okay, and you just start writing things down, all right? And your, it's your ideas, okay? And you can, you can use the same business plan model that you can find when you do your research. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have to be as extensive. Okay, for the purpose of getting your ideas down and knowing what you want to do. Great. Okay. Once you get your business plan right, you have to really do your research. Okay. Now it's all about knowledge. In any business, knowledge is key. I see so many people making costly mistakes because they didn't listen or they didn't ask the right questions or they didn't do their homework. It takes time. Even for me, um, I teach the Best Sellers Project, which is my publishing school. We teach aspiring authors and, and publishers how to write books and how to build successful empires. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks you can just write a book and throw it on Amazon. Please don't do that. Write that down. Make sure you don't do that, okay? <laughs> That's not the key. If your book is only sold on Amazon, you need to call me, okay? okay. <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah. All right, so essentially we teach people how to do that because people make costly mistakes mm -hmm. by not learning and investing in themselves, mm -hmm. okay? So, and investing in yourself doesn't always mean money, right? It means going to the library, sitting down, reading books. 
um, Google University. I graduated from Google University, okay? Um, my business partner, um, Tiffany, she talks about this all the time. She's like, hey, Google it. Like, we, we always Google it. My husband, honey, what do I do? Google it. We all can graduate from Google <laughs> University, okay? okay? So, essentially, any information that you need, it's out there. You can intern, you know? So, so if there's no excuse. You can get it done. Lastly, I want to say this. While you're doing all of your research, you got your business plan going, you already shook the haters off, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now you literally have to build your brand, okay? Mm -hmm. Work on building your brand in the process. So that way when it's time to launch everything and you have your dates ready and you know you're going to, you know, start this business mm -hmm. in six months, a year from now, you're already building your brand along the way. Okay. Hey. So excited. Some good nuggets from Tressa. So uh, we're going to keep it moving. So thank you for that, Tressa. I, I love yeah. steps. So I hope you were taking notes. So we want to move into some obstacles. Let's just keep it real. They all fall on our path. So now that you have made things happen, you, you, your, your plan is playing out. I know you probably hit some road bumps, some obstacles along the way. What, was, what was your biggest obstacle? Wow. I've hit many, many obstacles, but I would say the financial piece mm -hmm. is a biggie for me. Um, I'm in the media field for, mo for the most part. And so when you think about publishing uh, books, when things started rolling, I started publishing 10 to 15 books a year. Wow. Each time you put out a book, that's, that's big money, right? Yeah. So I found myself in a situation where I was spending money putting out books, but I wasn't getting the income back in fast enough. Mm. Because a lot of times when you do business with larger companies, they don't pay you until 90 days later. So I, that was that, ah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do my research, right? Mm -hmm. That was, that was huge. I, I should have, that was a piece of the puzzle that I really should have known, yeah. bottom line. So before you know it, I was in a bind where it was like, wow, I don't want to spend up money that's in my reserve for the company to to put out more books for a particular year when I didn't have money coming back into the company. So it was a struggle for me. And so a couple of years I had to downsize and only publish like 10 books a year, you know, until I got the hang of it and realized, boom, okay, I need to do that. Also, now that I'm going into movies, mm. it's a situation where I know I should have invested more back into my company. I have this big rule, always invest back into your company. I don't care what it is. Don't spend up all of your profits, okay? okay. I did. I, I always had that rule, but I should have invested more back into the company because right. this movie is going to be amazing. If you're not following um, At Secrets, the movie, please do so. It's one of my novels from 2007. Wow. Okay? So content is everything. You can... You can Write some content mm -hmm. ten years, ten years from now. It'll you could do something else with it. Wow. So it's amazing. So essentially, plan to make that money work for you the right way. So it takes a little bit of research, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit of knowledge. But that is that was my biggest obstacle: yeah. getting that financial piece together. That, that's some great advice because we all want to keep it financially sound yeah. so our businesses can yeah. grow. Yeah. All right. As we come to a close, and I'm not ready to go, I don't want Tressa to leave because we're learning so much. And I want to know what are the lessons learned. You know, as we close out, everybody has to have some takeaways. But what are some of those lessons that you learned that you can share with us and everybody watching to, so they can continue to be the boss they were born to be? Yeah, well, listen, first of all, when you become a boss, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I've made plenty, okay? And continue to make them. I just try to make sure that um, I really watch what I do so that I don't make too many mistakes. Okay, uh, but if you make some mistakes, it means you're on the right track because you're doing you're you're really doing this thing. Okay, mm -hmm. so for me, I think one of my biggest mistakes would be contracts. Oh, Making sure yeah. you have contracts yeah. with people. Okay, because you if you have a verbal agreement, it can get twisted. Mm -hmm. One person can say, "No, you said you would do this. No, you said you would do that." You need that contract. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so it doesn't matter if you have a catering business, you have a boutique. Um, you're hiring somebody, it's all a contract, written contract is needed. For me, I'll give you an example. Because I'm in the publishing business, mm -hmm. you know, you can have a book that makes new, the New York Times bestsellers list. And if you were saying that you were a part of the publishing house or the investor who helped this person, mm -hmm. and they make the New York Times, and then they tell you, you're not a, 
Okay, you just messed up. You messed up yeah. bad. Okay. <laughs> so essentially, I would say make sure you have a contract. Another biggie is that um, copyright, trademark, patents, if you have mm -hmm. any type of intellectual property, make sure before you do anything else that you contact the copyright office, the trademark office, or if it's dealing with a patent, make sure you contact them, get the paperwork done. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because somebody will come back and say, hey, you're not a part of this. It wasn't your idea. Can you imagine yeah. having to tell, go through that? Yeah. It's your idea and somebody else is rolling with it? Yeah. No, you don't want that. So so do the do it the right way ahead of time, okay? So that's huge. Um, another mistake I would say is probably accounting for me. Mm -hmm. um, I started making money very quickly in my business. Um, as a matter of fact, in all of my business, I've been really, really blessed. Like, literally, it's, thank God for that, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but when you make money quickly, you have to make sure you know what you're doing with the accounting. Mm -hmm. Save all of your receipts. Have great record keeping because the more money you make, the more they take. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Uncle Sam. I like that. I like that. Uncle though. Sam is real. There are only three people that I'm afraid of: the I, the R, and the S. Okay. <laughs> they that when the IRS come, they come hard. Yeah. Okay. I've been audited so many times that I can't even explain to you. Okay. <laughs> they are a guest in my home. Mm -hmm. They stay for dinner and everything when Ooh. they come. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's really serious. It, it yeah. can ruin your business. So make sure that you handle the accounting piece. Um, I think with those three, you know, contracts, making sure you're protected um, with, you know, copyright, trademark, mm -hmm. um, patents, and, and making sure you keep your accounting in order. For me, those were my major mistakes. If you do those, you're ahead of the game. Mm. All right, some more nuggets from uh, from Tressa. So thank you for that, because that's a very important thing. That's, yeah, you know, yeah. we want to continue to be a boss. Yeah, so, yeah. all right, thank you for that. Thank you so much for viewing with us today. I want to thank Tressa. I've learned so much today. I hope you have too. Before you leave, I just want to share that. Believe in yourself. That's the biggest key, is believing in yourself. When you step out there to be the boss that you were born to be, yes, we're going to have to shake off some of those naysayers like Tressa shared. We're going to have to really get our plan together so we can be in order as we move forward in what we want to do. And we want to keep that record keeping in order, y'all. Don't so forget. Those three people don't visit you. The I, the R, and the S. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we believe in you. We want you to believe in yourself. Thank you so much for joining TGA TV today. Remember, TGA TV is going to be bringing you much more, many more interesting conversations, inspiring interviews with the next generation influencers like Tressa entertainers and everyday people thank you so much for joining us and i want you to get connected with tressa stay connected with tressa where can we find you tressa so again it's ceo azarel that's a-z-a-r-e-l that's on twitter instagram periscope also if you want to work with me personally just connect with me then you can visit my website at tressa that's t-r-e-s-s-a azarel a Z A R E L dot com. Oh, it's easy. Yes, all right. <laughs> As always, get connected with uh, the Target Anderson video blog. Get connected with TGA TV. Get connected with TGA PR. You can find me at TaraGatesAnderson.com. Thank you so much for viewing, and we will see you next time. Get up, get out, and get something. Don't let the days 